few days ago, I watched a Disney movie called The Brave Little Toaster, and it was terrifying. This is a college assignment, by the way, so don't tell anyone. The Brave Little Toaster is an animated Disney movie that came out in 1987, where a bunch of electric appliances sort of live in this house on their own. A toaster, a radio, a lamp, some sort of blanket, and a vacuum cleaner. Soon we start to realize that their master hasn't come to this house in a very long time. We can call the master their owner in another way. We soon realize that this master is a boy that used to live in this house when he was a little kid. All of a sudden, these appliances decide to go on a journey to find their master, and it's here where things start to get a little bit creepy, especially for an animated kids film. Like, out of the blue, this guy has a nightmare where some scary looking clown appears for like no reason. I bet that traumatized a bunch of five-year-olds. It's very clear how similar this movie can feel in comparison to something like Toy Story. I mean, with the basic concept of inanimate objects being able to come to life, the concept of a master is something compared to someone like Andy, and there's some other symbolisms and scenes where you think, oh, I think I've seen this in Toy Story. So anyways, that's how this movie starts. Very friendly and joyful. You wouldn't really expect anything bad to happen outside from the basic plot devices of a kid's movie. But things can get interestingly weird quite fast. So the first moment that started to prove that it wasn't your average Disney movie was a scene where this air conditioner starts to freak out and he basically starts to get burned alive and explodes. Yeah, that was something. It's nothing upsetting as a young adult, but I know what you're thinking. This isn't that scary, but I wonder how five-year-olds reacted to this movie when it came out. Because back when I was a kid, even watching The Incredibles was a scary AF, especially, you know, that scene. So yeah, these objects start to head to this journey to find their master. And I guess they're incredibly dumb because they're trying to find a road to get where they want. Can't see the road anymore. Are we going the right direction? The road is like right there. And they didn't think of that, like, okay. Anyways, while they walk through these landscapes, some odd stuff happens. But where things get scary is when these little guys get inside this old man's house. And I know these objects naturally aren't alive, but it does feel like kidnapping. And then this weird looking lamp pops out of nowhere like some jump scare. This old man then proceeds to stab a blender and then proceeds to take the motor out of the blender to sell it. I'm pretty sure that's a metaphor for murder and organ trafficking. <laughs> Somehow, these guys end up in this apartment where some other fancy appliances try to kill them by throwing them in this garbage truck, where soon we'll get into this landfill full of old cars and junk, where we see all these alive cars get smashed and killed in the process. And it is no short scene to see some cars get smashed, like, a couple of times. We see that scene 20 times. Some guy made a YouTube video about a kill count of every single murder or death of this movie and he counted 23 kills. That is crazy to think about. Not only that, but there's this green car that decides to jump on his own to the platform. So he basically gives up on life and yeah, I guess he committed suicide, we'll say. Then this master kind of finds them and he saves the appliances from being killed. So yeah, these appliances reunite with their master and the movie ends, like nothing happened. Like this guy wasn't about to lose his hand and the toaster wasn't about to sacrifice their own fucking life. Everything is now totally fine and nothing happened. No PTSD, nothing going on. So in summary, we got to see a Disney film with the mass murder of 20 cars, organ trafficking, one suicide, and a creepy looking ass clown. And that's the movie, and somehow, I really liked it. If you liked this video, you can subscribe to my channel, maybe leave a like with a comment, and I hope we can keep in touch. Goodbye. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra.